Hello guys, it's Lucas again. Um, remember the last video I showed you how to set up the intercom uh, via the indoor station and I promise you today I'm going to show you how to do it via the config tool with your laptop. Uh, it's also very straightforward, so these are the units I have here with me. So they're completely defaulted, um, so let me show you and show how to do it. So let's go. So what we have here, it's the um, uh, config tool, uh, so you can see in the config tool uh, I have both devices uh, defaulted, not initialized. Uh, they don't have any password, so we just need to do it one by one in this case. So we initialize our um, uh, door station. Uh, we're just going to enter the password for our door station. Confirm below. And go next. So now we should have our door station enabled and fully activated. If you like, you can also change the IP address to whatever it suits you. Then we need to go to our indoor station. In our indoor station, we're going to get this initialized again here as well with the different passwords. And we can go next. So that's it and now we just need to choose the language and uh, configure the language and restart the unit so we just click finish and that's it so now we just need to wait for our indoor station to come back it's going to reboot itself so it's going to disappear in a second here you go so we only have our door station uh, so I can see my indoor station is coming back, so we should have it there in a second. Here you go, our indoor station is back activated. So we go to device config on the left hand side. We go with the VDH, which is our indoor station. We enter the username and password we activate that unit with. And in our indoor station, we need to make sure that the IP address of the SIP, which is our door station IP address, so we see it here. So that's the IP address we need to enter. Use the username and password. The same username and password that you activate your door station, your VTO with. Click OK. And then in the network terminal, we also need to make sure the VTO is enabled. We enter the IP address, username and password. And save that. So now that should be it. Um, our indoor station and door station, they should talk to each other. So let me test that now for you. Calling now. Please wait a moment. So there it is. Straight away, I can open up the door and answer the call. The door is unlocked. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, like you see here, it's a really simple setup. Um, if you have any question, comment below. Take care. Bye.